say yes. <laughs> Feel like I've just been in a head and shoulders commercial. Anyway, <laughs> listen, I hope you guys had a great time uh, this evening. I certainly have thoroughly enjoyed myself. My last little piece for the evening. Uh, it is a true story. It's an embarrassing story, but I feel comfortable enough to share. And um, it was a New Year's Eve, several years ago, when my friend spiked my drinks. I was terribly drunk. And then introduced me to a group of his friends as an Australian magician. And his dare for the evening was to perform a show as an Australian performer. Bearing in mind, I was completely inebriated. And I have never in my whole life been to Australia, and my Australian accent is very, very dodgy. <laughs> so set those things in place. What you're about to see is the result of a very drunken evening. Um, will you help me out? Your first name? Amy. Amy, will you say stop, Amy? Stop. Will you please remember the card? Take it out for me, Amy. Show your close friends. Amy, are you a card player? Um, no, not really. Not really, okay. Sometimes. Amy, uh, place it back in the centre for me. Watch my hands very carefully. I place the deck on the table. Because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you guys have been great. Let me give these guys a little shafty. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, think of your card, Amy. All right, we're going to go for this tonight because I'm going to tell you the story about my first ever performance on stage, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Great, <laughs> River. <laughs> when it happened, ladies and gentlemen, at the time, I was 18 years old, and I looked at my watch, ladies and gentlemen, and it was uh. It was 7.56 precisely. It's truth, I said, mate. <laughs> Me and three mates. We got on the 44 bus. <laughs> down to Kingston Avenue. To a club called the 678 Club. <laughs> The kind of club you go where everybody is drunk. <laughs> the kind of club where you pay a fiver. <laughs> you get ten drinks. And everyone is completely and utterly wasted, ladies and gentlemen. The owner of the club, the king of clubs, nice guy, strange kind of guy. <laughs> little bit strange if I may add. Likes alternative humour. Does a little show of his own, if I may add. Wearing a tutu. <laughs> While singing great balls of fire doing the splits over a gas lamp. <laughs> I'm not going to explain that. Because the next act on was a great guy. A juggler. But instead of juggling the normal three clubs, he told jokes as he did it. That guy was absolutely ace. I really like that guy. Great kind of guy. But I wanted to get more and more drink, ladies and gentlemen. So I headed to the bar. And at the bar, there was a lady. Without being rude or disrespectful in any way, but telling the truth, she's a bit of a dog. Bit of a canine, get it? <laughs> Sheila. She said, I guess I'll have champagne. I said, guess again. <laughs> she got a diet coke, mate. <laughs> and our soiree progressed. <clears throat> There's a guy at the bar, nice kind of guy. He offered me 55 pound. If I couldn't tell Amy, right here, right now, her card. I accepted his challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Red card. Diamond. Uh, Ace of Diamonds? Yeah. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that Ace of Diamonds won me £55. I was absolutely thrilled. But I had to head back to the show because the next act on was something I was dying to see. Let me tell you about it. 
A pair of queens, ladies and gentlemen. A pair of queens. One guy got so offended, he called nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Everyone was arrested. Hence the reason why I tell you my little tale this evening. Because the owner of the club had no more acts left. He said, Chris, listen, mate. Do us a favour. I know you've never been on the stage before, but you are a bit of a joker. <laughs> Would you mind getting on the stage with your cards and doing ten minutes, just tell some jokes and do some tricks, mate? It's true! <laughs> I thought, great! I'll do your ten minutes. But to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I feel a little bit flush. <laughs> They walk around a couple of trays of sandwiches. Three sandwiches on each tray. And I ate. And I ate. Till I was sick. But you know what I thought, mate? I thought, Struth, Ripper, great, I've got to get on with this. So I went up on the stage with my cards. And I did my first ever show on stage. And do you know something, ladies and gentlemen? Life is very strange. One thing tends to lead to another. And I was working at that club seven nights a week. Three times a night. And after 6,400 <laughs> and 74 performances. The lady from Madrid said yes. <laughs> I stand here in front of you telling you my little tale. But the strangest thing of all was that Ace of Diamonds, Amy's card, never really ever existed, ladies and gentlemen. Because that card was me. Because I am the Joker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely wonderful. That's it, that's it. That's it.